is dead after police say he was shot while preparing to step onto a GRTC bus in Richmond South Side this morning. Here's a look at where it happened. A restaurant worker nearby who says he heard the shot spoke with 8 News reporter Madison Moore, and she's live in Richmond now to tell us the details. Madison, what do you know? Yeah, Eric, Deanna, this is a very tragic situation. Thoughts and prayers going out to the victim's family. But right now, I'm at the Richmond Police Department's second precinct, which is just minutes away from where it all went down. They just need to put these guns down, man. This guy just lost his life today. Adon Katop asking for change after hearing the sound of gunshots just before 730 this morning. One killing a man who was waiting to board his GRTC bus. Katop works at Moe's carry out just feet away from the bus stop at the intersection of Coordon and Hull Street. While I was prepping, trying to make some chicken, I just heard some uh, gunshots and um, yeah, I just took cover. I just got down. It's really sad when we hear, you know, witness stuff like what we witnessed today. Shortly after officers arrived, they found the man on the pavement at the rear door of this GRTC bus, later pronounced dead at the scene. Southbound lanes of Richmond Highway were closed for over three hours. Officers cleaning the area, interviewing witnesses, and gathering video footage from nearby businesses. Here's James Mercante with Richmond Police. Detectives uh, uh, have canvassed the area for witnesses. Uh, they're finding video sources uh, from local businesses. They're also collecting a video from the GRTC bus as well. Um, detectives have also determined that there were some passengers on the bus at the time of the shooting that may have left the area. GRTC tweeted this statement, which says GRTC is aware of an incident of gun violence that occurred earlier this morning next to a GRTC bus. We would like to express our deep condolences to the family of the victim and our dismay that such an incident occurred at all. Katab tells me to his knowledge, this sort of incident is not common in his area, but is fed up with the gun violence in this city. It sucks, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully we can have less violence in Richmond, less, you know, incidents like we've seen today. Police haven't shared any information about a suspect, but this is still undergoing investigation and anyone with any information is urged to contact police. Live in Richmond tonight, Madison Moore. Eight news. All right, a tragic situation indeed. Thanks very much, Madison.